Hello, I'm Dr. Joe, and welcome to the Reboot Quiz. During this presentation, I'll be asking you challenging questions. You'll answer them in the chat box, and then I'll reveal the answers. In this way, we'll learn about how to stay healthy, sane, and productive in a really fun way. And even better, you'll win fabulous prizes, so keep track of your score. All right, are you ready for your first question? Let's imagine you have something very important you have to get to in person. That would be wild, wouldn't it? And you have been looking forward to this for weeks, maybe even months. You have to drive to get there. And you wake up in the morning, you get dressed. Ah, it's a little bit of a struggle because you haven't been getting out very much recently. But you get out to the car and you think, if everything's okay, if the traffic and the weather are fine, no construction on the roads, I'm gonna make it in time. You put the key in the ignition, you turn it on and ding, the fuel light comes on, oh my gosh. And you realize you don't have enough gas to make it where you need to go in the time that you need to get there. What are you gonna do? A, just drive and hope you'll make it. B, drive as far as you can go and then look for a gas station. C, put some gas in the car right away, or D, go back to bed. Well, I hope you didn't say go back to bed. Come on, you've been looking forward to this for a long time. <laughs> I know you can just hope and pray. Some of us believe in positive thinking, but let's face it, it's probably not gonna help with gas. So you can scratch off A. Well, you can go as far as you can go and then look for a gas station, but what if there's no gas station there? So let's scratch off B. The answer is C. Go ahead, put some gas in the, in the car right away. Yeah, it'll take a few minutes out of your time, but you know you're going to make it just a few minutes late. Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, so what does that question have to do with our own personal productivity? A lot. Let's just say you answered D and said, I'm going to go back to bed. Well, that's like analogous to saying, well, there's nothing I can do about who I am and my productivity and my energy. That's a bunch of bull because there's always something we can do. Much of this is actually within our control and that's what we're going to be talking about today. And for those of you who answered A, just drive and hope and pray that I'll make it. You know, positive thinking does have a role in all this. It's important to be a positive thinker, but you know what? Energy, whether we're talking about fuel in the car or energy within our body, it's a real thing. Without energy, we can't focus and concentrate. I mean, it affects our safety. We have more errors and accidents. It affects our emotional health if we're able to stay cool and calm and make the right decisions. It can affect how we problem solve, the decisions that we make. It's not just about how we move and how we feel. Energy is a full body thing. And so don't just hope and pray that you'll be okay. Let's do some proactive things. Now, what if you answered B? that you're gonna drive as far as you could and hope that there's a gas station there. And many of us do that when it comes to energy. A lot of people will talk to me in my coaching sessions or in speaking engagements saying, hey, I have so much energy all day long. But when I get home at the end of the day, all I wanna do is sit on the couch. And they're trying to pinpoint it when in fact, it's like driving as far as you can go and almost being out of gas and just running on fumes. And that's what many of us do. We don't fuel our body appropriately during the day and we just expect to make it through the evening and we can't. So it's not something you're doing in the evening. It's something you have to go back and say, oh, what am I doing earlier in the day? And again, we'll talk about that. So the answer of course is C. Put some gas in your car, and yes, you might be a few minutes late, but better late than not getting there at all. And that's what we need to be thinking about in terms of energy. Instead of hoping and praying or giving up, we need to think about how can we fuel our body in a way so that we have 
a lot of mental energy to focus and concentrate, to problem solve, to make the best decisions. Emotional energy so we can stay calm and relax and, and not get too high strung. You know, we also want to be able to feel good. So we're more engaged on a daily basis. So what can you do right now? And that's going to lead into my next question. 